Today we're here with Jarrell Lane, point guard for St. Pat's, and Chris Martin, combo guard for St. Pat's. Guys, you guys are number one in the in the country um, across the board. Tell us a little bit about what it takes to be number one and some of the work ethic that you guys need to to have throughout the course of the season to keep that to keep that position. Um, I think the biggest thing is like you know in practice we emphasize defense first. You know we work hard every day and we compete against each other and like. You know, a lot of times when we step on the court, uh, we feel like our practices are much harder um, in our, than the games because we work so hard and, and so competitive in practice. So I think, you know, our practices have really helped us, you know, on the, um, on the court and we play hard and you know, we come out and do, you know, do what we do. I think it's uh, team chemistry, uh, mostly off the court stuff. Um, like all of us have a great relationship, a great bond, like we're all like brothers. And it, it definitely carries on to the court. So. That's why we can win crunch, uh, win in crunch time, come out in close games, you know, go down to a tough atmosphere like Winter Park, where you where we can't hear each other talk, and we can still pull out a win. So I think that's definitely important, and that's winning. And you guys, obviously, you're, you're super talented. What are some of the things you do in the off season to prepare you for the season? So um, your training, you hit the weights. Give us a little idea of of the time and effort that you put in when you're out of season. Oh, off season is like you know, kind of like the biggest, you know, the biggest time of the year. You know, developing is about development. You know, you know, we have a um, schedule where we do workouts, where um, we're shooting, working on ball handling. We have weightlifting, so like you know, that all that all is a part of you know development before the season. So it's, you know, it's definitely a big step for us. And um, I, I wasn't here uh, last year, but I know they do summer leagues and they're always at camps and stuff. But uh, for myself, I I take a lot of shots, as you can see. So. Um, I might put up 500 shots a day, 400 shots a day, and um, you know that's that's what I do. So that's why I can shoot so well. And in, in talking, there's expectations. So how do you guys handle the expectations, the pressure of playing for a school like St. Pat's, and understanding that you have a target across your chest? People saying we want to beat St. Pat's. How do you handle that? And like you said, going down to a to an Austin Rivers, Austin Rivers school playing the top rated prospect in, in the country, one of the top rated prospects, big crowd down in Orlando. How do you guys handle that and and and, and kind of use that to your advantage and, and potentially get some wins that way? Oh, uh, we use it. We it's fun. It's fun to us. We always love, you know, enjoy playing the best competition. And you know, it's all you know. Everybody knows the same. You know, you want to beat the best to be the best. So you know, we always use it. You know, it's fun and more and it's motivating for us. We, you know, we don't really worry about too much, you know, playing here and playing there, like we always take one game at a time. But the biggest thing is that, you know, it's um, you know, it's very motivating for us to, you know, continue to play hard and, you know, play whoever's on the schedule and just come out and play hard every day. Um, I, I love having a big target because like me, Jarrell, Derek and Mike, we're all seniors and, and we want to go out with a bang. So when when you have a when you're a target and you beat someone when people are saying you can't beat them, it just feels great. It's a great feeling. So, I mean, it's like going out with a chip on, on our shoulder and just making us want to work harder and, you know, strive to be the best. As you mentioned, your seniors, your seniors are, are all high profile, all going to be playing at the next level. Um, Jarrell, you chose Maryland, Baltimore County. Chris, you're still looking at uh, making the decision here. Talk to us a little bit, little bit about what that recruiting process was like, some of the other schools you were looking at or some of the schools you're looking at right now. And, and what it's like to go through that recruiting process. Um, the other schools that I was looking at was um, Florida Atlantic, um, Towson, St. Peter's, and um, Iona College. And I, I think, you know, I used the process like, you know, I enjoyed it because, you know, you only go through it one time. So, you know, I, I just enjoyed it and like, you know, I soaked it all, I soaked it all in. And then I, um, you know, I ultimately like just chose the best, you know, the best decision for me. And I, um, you know, Baltimore, Maryland, Baltimore County was a nice, you know, it was a very nice school. I, um, you know, developed a good relationship with the coaching staff and the other um, players on the team. And also we had a, a former player, St. Patrick and Chase Plummer go there. So, you know, I spoke to him about the school and stuff like that. And I felt like, you know, it was the best decision for me. And I like the area where it's not too too far from home, but, you know, it's a nice distance where, you know, I can go back and forth and my family can come see me play also. Uh, my situation, uh, I'm just trying to find the best spot. And um, right now I have UAB, VCU, Colorado State, Seton Hall, uh, LaSalle, TCU, uh, Charlotte, I have a lot of different looks. And um, a lot of my looks came from 
you know, just being here at St. Pat's and really helped my recruitment. And um, so after the season, I need to figure out where I'm going to take my visits. I took two visits in the fall, and um, so I'll, get, I'll make my decision after I take these visits. It's kind of hard to do it during the season with us being busy and the college teams traveling. So we'll see. So you've mentioned earlier that you take it one step at a time, one game at a time. You have to have in the back of your mind, big matchup coming up. There's a school, what, about 10 miles away, St. Anthony's, that's currently two in the country. So potentially we have a matchup not only for bragging rights within the state, you have bragging rights for, for within the country. What are you guys thinking about in terms of potentially facing them and a matchup between between two national powers here within a, within a close proximity of each other? I mean, it's great. You know, it's always um, in the back of our minds, you know, with everybody, of course, hyping, hyping up the game. But, you know, we just continue to play hard and, um, you know, work hard every day in practice and then take it one game at a time. Like, we got the, um, the county tournament coming up before the state tournament. So, you know, we have some tough, you know, county teams that are rivalries in there. So, we, you know, we have to look to get past, past them first. But, you know, ultimately, we're definitely looking forward to the matchup with St. Anthony's. It's a rivalry game. You know, it's a big time matchup, so you know we were definitely looking forward to it. You know, we're gonna continue to work hard to get you know prepare for that game. Uh, just like he said, we'll, we'll take it one step at a time. Uh, we're a great team. St. Anthony's is a great team, so it's gonna be an exciting game. Um, the, I, I hear ESPN; they they might want to you know cover the game. So I'm really excited about. It. I really hope that uh, that'll happen. That game will pop up. So just take it one step at a time. And lastly, uh, Mr. Beccaro said that Chris can, can sing a little bit. I, you got the open mic right here if you want to start to uh, show your talents elsewhere. I, I don't know where he got that from because <laughs> I, I didn't tell him I can sing. So. I don't know. Do I look like I can sing or something? You got it. You a nice, look, nice voice. Like I, uh, I, don't know. I, think, I think we should just stick to the court. Just stick, to the court. <laughs> I'll stick to the court. I'll stick to basketball. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, guys, good luck in the future. Congratulations on a, on a great start to the season, and we hope you get to, uh, to get your final goals here. Come, come one month out. Thanks a lot. Yeah, thank you.